All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this animation in After Effects. This had been inspired from this tutorial and I recreated in text. And in the first part, I'm gonna show you how to make the text animation. Meanwhile, in the second part, I'm gonna show you how to add the effects. Okay, so step one, we're gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna rename it as text animation. I'm gonna go with 1080p, five seconds, 15 frames, black background, click OK. Select the type tool. I'm gonna type in one letter. Press the letter S, scale it up here. And I'm gonna duplicate this five more times. So what we're gonna do is separate all the letters in the word. So this is gonna be the first letter and I'm gonna select the letter, press Control D. I'm gonna go with five more times. So this way I got six copies because the Panther name is made out of six letters. So I'm gonna go and select this P, bring it to the right, select all the letters. And let's go to the align and align it, distribute horizontally. And I'm just going to select the second one, rename, third one, rename them one by one. There you go. Let's arrange these next to each other, adjust the kerning. Good. Now eventually I'm going to need to scale this up and position it into the center. But we cannot do that because every each letter is separated. So what I'm going to do is right click here, go to new, select a null object. And as you can see, if I zoom in, we got this bounding box and we got the small anchor point right here at the top left corner. Press and hold control and also select the letter P or basically the very first letter with this bounding box. I'm going to go to the align, align it to the left and to the top and the bounding box is right here at the corner. Now let's select just the null and let's go to the bottom right corner and stretch it out like this until the text is going to fit perfectly. We'll select all the text, drag the pick whip and pair it into the null. Now you can select the null and now you can align it to the center. And as you can see, all the letters are paired perfectly. Press the letter S at the null, scale it up. As you can see, it's scaling up to the bottom right because the anchor point is here at the corner. I'm going to press and hold control and double click here on a pen behind. It's going to jump now into the center and now you can scale it perfectly. And now we're going to need to create that ball. So I'm going to go and select the circle, ellipse. You can go and change a fill color, press and hold shift and create a circle. And also make sure that the anchor point is into the center. As you can see, the anchor point is right here. So I'm going to press and hold control, double click on the pen behind is going to jump now in here. I'm going to position the circle right here. Bring this back, select the circle. I'm going to right click, rename ball, press the letter P for position. And I'm going to bring this circle out, press and hold shift to isolate. And I'm going to bring it out of the artboard, activate the stopwatch at the position. And I'm going to go in between the half of the first second right here. And I'm going to bring the circle in, press and hold shift to isolate somewhere here. Now I'm going to bring it to the first second, bring the circle down, is gonna make it curvy now. But if you press the letter G and you click here at this little rectangle, it's gonna make it straight. Now I'm gonna select the selection tool again, and I'm gonna go to the half and two seconds somewhere here and just bring it. I'm gonna straighten these out a little bit later. Now I'm gonna go to the second second, bring it up, do the same with the rest. And I'm gonna go down and here we got the last step. I'm gonna go at the end and bring it out. Also press shift. And I'm going to push the last keyframes out. And now we're going to need to straighten these out. So I'm going to press the letter G or you can go here and select the convert vertex tool and just click on these little squares and straighten them out. Press control R, activate the ruler and drag and drop a ruler right here where the ball is starting and drag another one here. We're basically as parallel at the bottom and we're going to zoom in and adjust these little rectangles position them accordingly. So I'm going to bring it back. And as you can see, it's doing its thing. I'm going to select all the keyframes. I'm going to select here the positioning and right click on one of the keyframes, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. So it's going to go smoother. Now I'm going to go to the letters. I'm going to select them all, press the letter P for position, bring it back. And we're going to start animating it when the circle is going to start going in between the letters. So basically it's going to start from here. So make sure that every letter is selected. Let's go ahead and activate the stopwatch. So it's going to activate all of it. And now I'm going to go push it all the way to the end at the first second. And I'm going to select the letter P. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring the letter P up and then the A and then the N and the R at the end. There you go. So I'm going to start with the letter P. 
Actually, I'm going to go somewhere here so you can see exactly that stretched area where we're going to need to push the letters away from each other. So I'm going to select the letter P here and I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to select the letter A, press and hold shift to go all the way down, select the rest of the letters and bring them out, something like this. Now I'm going to select all these keyframes that just we created and I'm going to bring it to the first second somewhere here. So this is going to need to work faster, but later on, we're going to adjust it at the graph editor. So we're going to go on and here we're going to go back to normal. So I'm going to select these keyframes, press control C, control V. And as you can see, every each is coming back to normal. Just copy paste every each keyframe. And from here, we're going to need to distort it from this part. I'm going to go somewhere here. I'm going to select now the letter P, press and hold shift and select the letter A as well. And I'm going to bring them to the left, press and hold shift. And I'm going to select the letter N, press and hold shift, select the last four letters and bring them to the right side. Now I'm going to select them all, bring them to the second second. And now I'm going to select these keyframes here. I'm going to go here at the two and a half second, press control C, control V, do the same process. And from here, I'm going to select all these keyframes, a right click, go to keyframes, select easy ease and make sure to select at the end all the keyframes and push them all the way out. Now let's select every keyframes and we're going to go here to the graph editor. So now we're going to need to customize this because as you can see, if I hit play, the letters are not pulling away how it should be. So I'm going to select these anchor points right here and drag the handle all the way to the left. So this is pretty good, pretty okay. It's not a perfect, but we also can select these anchor points and just pull the handle back here. So it's gonna start even faster. It's gonna push it away a little bit more. Let me check real quick. I also can bring these even back. So it's gonna start like that. And there you go. So I'm gonna select all the positions again, go to the graph editor, and now we're gonna go on. Now this is going to remain the same and now we're going to start working on this area. So I'm going to select all the anchor points, bring the handle to the left and let's see what we got. We got the same problem here. I'm going to bring this in. There you go. I'm going to go on, do the same here, bring this a little bit in. I'm also going to uncheck the graph editor. And you can just, for example, bring it here. As you can see, it's not opening up. You can select all the keyframes here and just bring it in a little bit more. For example, at the 10th frame until it's opening up. Let's check it. It's nice. I'm going to do it here as well. Just bring these in. And this also bring it to the 10th frame. beautiful and now it's smooth as butter in the next video we're gonna make those glowing effects on it and make it come to life so this was it thanks for watching